As a rare fan, I absolutely love discovering easter eggs within Sea of Thieves that refer to their older IPs. And this game really is a treasure trove that just keeps on giving. I love finding these and I love making videos about them and this is yet another one of those videos, which will include at least one easter egg that you did not know about. So let's get into it. And let's start with an easter egg only obsessed rare fans will notice. When playing through the Fate of the Morningstar Talltale, players will be introduced to members of the Morningstar crew. We have Eli Slade, the courageous captain that likes to keep his ship neat and orderly. We have Fontaine, a Frenchman with a certain way of words, and Dinger, a younger member with a healthy sense of humor. And let's be fair, Dinger is a highly unusual name. It's something you would name your dog, like the dog in Project Green. This video game started out as an adventure game for the Super Nintendo, but later evolved into the best platformer the world has ever seen. Either way, Dinger was left behind during these changes, but he still lives on as an easter egg in Sea of Thieves. And while we are talking about named characters, we also find Angelica on Morrow's Peak Outpost. She works as a member of the Sovereigns and also shares the name with Princess Angelica from the Battletoads series. Sadly, unlike Dinger, I have no official confirmation this is meant as an easter egg, but I like to presume it is. So in a previous video I talked about Cecil on New Golden Sands Outpost working for Captain Black Eye, a character also originally planned for Project Green. But unlike Dinger, Black Eye's appearance can be found in multiple rare games. And thanks to the Captaincy update, this rare pirate has yet another easter egg in Sea of Thieves. And I am talking about the Morning Post Trinket. The description reads, the tag on these parcels say they are for a J. Roger, courtesy of C. Black Eye. Well, it's your post now. Pretty obvious, and the J. Roger mentioned is also a reference to Jolly Roger, a character that was first introduced in Banjo Tooie. And this description also makes me wonder what the C stands for. You would think Captain, but it might very well be that Captain Black Eye's first name also starts with a C. Either way, I love this pirate to bits and I'm still waiting for the day he makes a physical appearance in Sea of Thieves. And if you think these easter eggs can only be found in the game, you are wrong. Both the novels Athena's Fortune and Heart of Fire are also filled with them. And this is mainly thanks to the writer Chris Alcock, who is not only working for Rare, but who is also a huge Rare fan himself. When reading the Heart of Fire novel, we learn the crew of the Morningstar named the snake on their ship, Shomps, which is also the name of the sharks in the original Donkey Kong Country. Another reference that not everyone will notice. Something a bit more obvious is Chris naming one of the rudders the Chapman Rudder, which is a reference to Mike Chapman, the creative director of Sea of Thieves. Also, check out this podcast we did with Mike. Something mentioned in the Tales of the Sea of Thieves novel, but also given away to promote Sea of Thieves, is the game Carneth. You can play this game with both cards or dice, and I will also put a link in the description to the rules, so you can play this yourself. The name of this game is a reference to the very first Pendragon video game, the Staff of Carneth, where our favorite adventurer is looking for the Staff of Carneth. But this name is also given to the huge snake in the Battletoads games. He has appeared in the original NES game, where there is even a stage called Carnus Lair, but he also appeared in Battle Maniacs and the Coin-Up game, which is my personal favorite version of Carneth. So is this Carnath game a reference to this boss or the Pendragon game? The snake probably is a reference to the Pendragon game since Battletoads came out later, but maybe they had the snake in mind when coming up with the card and dice game. I don't know, but the only thing that matters is that we found another easter egg. And while we are talking about Battletoads, let me quickly show off the Fighting Frog Flex emote. I like this one, since it does look a bit silly on a fat character. The description reads, 
a pose that shows off your marauder's muscles, named after a trio of infamous brawlers. It's an obvious reference to Battletoads, and if you would like to equip this one yourself, you can still purchase this emote from the Pirate Emporium. And let's finish the video with another island name. Some of you might recognize the name Crescent Island from Diddy Kong Racing, but there is also an island named after yet another character from Donkey Kong Country. Ladies and gentlemen, might I introduce you to one of the best animal buddies in this series, Booty Bird. This bird will give the player a nice reward whenever it gets hit. And as you might have guessed, the island I'm talking about is Booty Island. It's spelled exactly the same and therefore making it a direct reference to this bird. You might disagree and you might even say both Booty Bird and Booty Owl are named after Booty. Like in Spoils or Plunder. But if we can agree there are references to a side character from a cancelled game from the 90s, then I'm saying this island is named after that goddamn bird. And wouldn't Booty Birds be a nice addition to Sea of Thieves? It could just be this dumb bird that swallowed a goblet. And it just spawns at random and when you kill it you get both a drumstick and a piece of treasure. I don't know, sounds like a nice idea, but I'm still putting it underneath hippos. So is this the end to my easter egg hunt? No of course not, these were just easter eggs to their own games. We didn't even touch upon any references to other video games or movies this time. Like the Crooked Mast also being a location in the movie Cutthroat Island. So subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any more of these. And if you cannot wait, since I'm pretty slow at making videos, I'm happy to inform you I've already made three of these. Which will be in the link uh, underneath this video. So please click on those. For now, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care.